Yes, people, welcome to Dialog episode 6. This week's episode of Dialog features the Juice Crew and uh, Manchester hip hop group The Heretics. Dialog episode 6. Oh shit! Right, okay, so this week the Juice Crew rolled into town. And uh, before I start talking about the Juice Crew gig, I want to say one thing. These t shirts here, Danny Dagger Tribe t shirts, are limited edition. They're on Bandcamp now at the minute, but there's only two sizes left large and medium. All the extra larges are gone, and all the smalls are gone. So if you're extra large or small, sorry, you missed it. But if you are large or medium and you want to get these last couple of t shirts, Go to www.dannydagertribe.bandcamp.com The link will be in the description section below Purchase it now and you get the whole night I bought an Irish hop hop right here, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's continue Right, so the Juice Crew were in town uh, These are the highlights from the Juice Crew gig To start off the log, one of the highlights of the night was uh, Master Ace I got a lot of respect for Master Ace, not only has he made timeless music consistently, but he is also, he, he, I found out he also suffers from an illness as well, and that illness forces him to take loads of medication and have a really strict diet. Now with the amount of time this man tours and, uh, and the stress of, of being on tour and performing live, all added in together, it just increases my respect for Master Ace, so big up Master Ace. So the uh, start the vlog, here's uh, the intro for Master Race doing the music man uh, at more points Manchester. Right, so after Master Ace went on, he performed his set and then he, he shook hands with all the fans, uh, jumped back on the stage and Roxanne Shantae spat a couple of bars and then she introduced Big Daddy Kane. Big Daddy Kane, the legend, 
He was on with a, another flawless performance. Here's Bug Daddy Kane. came on and they did the symphony together. After that, um, they posed for a picture, all of them all lined up and it was beautiful and then after Big Daddy Kane came on and, uh, and did his Koji rap. Now Koji rap for me is one of, he would be in my top 10 hip hop, top 5 hip hop artists that I used to listen to. See his flow and the way he speaks. The way he does his triplets and double double time mixed down with his uh, normal speed of rapping, that stuff was f fucking pointing to me from from when I was younger. You know, and I always thought, ah, when will I ever get to see uh, Koji rap? But once again, more points came through with the Juice Crew, and I got to see Koji rap perform live. So here's Big Daddy Kane introducing Koji rap and uh, some performances from the night. Say peace, love, and soul. Soul. Yeah. Uh, Mr. G-Man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you wanna stay around and do a few songs for us? <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. 
here's the thing. I want to speak on something, and I, I think it's an important subject, especially for for artists who are uh, dope hip hop artists, and they might be getting on in years. Like say they might be, have just turned thirty, or might have just turned forty, and uh, are starting to think, oh, I can't be doing this hip hop shit for much longer because I'm getting old now, and it's a young man's game. I for one think that's bullshit, and the reason why I think that's bullshit is because it's important for uh, mature, wise artists to keep writing. I think, and the and the years where they the, that they are maturing. I mean, I was talking to a, a fella, and he was a student, and he was saying that in speaking about UK hip hop, he liked to hear jest better sometimes than listening to maybe some of the younger people. And the reason why he said it was because he was older. And he was wiser and he didn't want to hear just people rapping about, you know, fucking snorting cocaine or how much weed they smoked that week. You know what I'm saying? So, and plus, older rappers need to uh, be an example for younger rappers coming up. If not, I think we're going to be left with people talking about taking fucking Xanax and all that shit. Which I think is fucking pretty whack. Boring. Like, I mean, look at Big Daddy Kane. Big Daddy Kane's been doing this, putting this shit down for fucking years. And I got to see him and I was excited to see him. And he, man's in his, what, f 50s or 60s or some shit, like, you know what I mean? So, it's always important to age with your art. I think that's the point that I'm getting at. You need to age with your art. You understand? I think Big Daddy Kane is a, a prime example of that. Like, I was just so glad that I could actually get to see him spit. And I mean, literally, I got to see him spit. There was a point at a time when I was at the, in, the, uh, in the pit, getting some shots. And the light was just amazing right behind him. It was just like perfectly behind him and he was saying ain't no half stepping and on the S on the stepping just seemed like literally spit coming out of his mouth and I just stand there looking at it like Jesus Christ that's fucking amazing so yeah keep your craft because you don't know who you're inspiring as well you're inspiring people you're inspiring the next generation so keep writing your bars and keep your bars good and age with your craft what do you think let me know in the comments should rappers keep rapping in the old age and age with their craft or should they put down their pen after their 20s because they're finished? Let me know what you think. Drop some words in a comment. On that note, this week's pick of the week comes from a group who uh, I've also been watching since I was a since, since I was a young kid, and I got to uh, collaborate with AGN out of the Heretics. This tune's called Cores, and I was looking at it, and I was looked at the comments on YouTube, and one of the comments said, uh, "Disgustingly slept on," like the group was disgustingly slept on, and. But I couldn't think of a better comment because it's true. This is one of the best UK hip hop groups that there ever was, in my opinion. But check it out. The track's called Cores, and it's by the Heretics. But have you ever noticed that the order of the day is to be sick? In other words, it is more common to be sick. Now, there's got to be a reason for everything. It's called cause and effect. Yo, strike right, straight strike, side slide, side back on the night and the tenements call resemblance. Follow with your own, nothing more, blood blows, all the monocle when all moments postpone. 
with that post the power of most Holds the same stray inspector and goals when injecting I'm causing a threat, break part and regret Stop sticking, stricken grudge, let them repent in the jet Correct as I, your mind, the minds are blind eyes are kind, kind of Line spot a line, what box up Top tax to falls, rap a law, crap this wrong side for a long time Catch up a brain before the actions are made Sat them to rain to keep the fight them to be Roll the barrel of brain, spoke the birth of all issue and misuse the brain, yo Runs in the veins, blood falls, cut throat, talks one in the same to the channel, hit the like button, uh, big up to everybody who's followed me on Instagram, all the Irish American people who've uh, been communicating with me and uh, dropping comments on my Instagram page, much respect, big up and uh, see you next week, that's it for Dialogue people, have a good week.